Hi, this is Jason Semeliano from Smarter Incorporated. Today, I will be showing you how to write the words Hello World into a file. Since our expertise here in Smarter Incorporated is TIBCO, today I will be using a program called TIBCO Designer. I will be showing you how to create a program that writes Hello World into a file using TIBCO Designer. So I hope you follow along with me because if you if you're completely new to Tipco development, you'll definitely learn a lot here. So let's move right on to the Tipco Designer program. What you see here is the Tipco Designer having a new empty project. I call this project Smarter Tipco Tutorials. So follow along with me. As I create a new folder underneath this root folder, the way to do that is to right click on the root folder, select new folder, and as you can see here, a new folder has been created. I'm going to rename it, to rename this folder into business processes, just to have some good organization here of our code. I'm going to click apply. And then underneath business processes folder, I'm going to create another folder. I right clicked on it, select new folder, and I'm going to name this one Hello World. Are you with me? Good. Now we're going to create this program to write Hello World into a file. I've been calling it a program all this time, but it's really, the technical term here is really process definition. So we're going to be creating a new process definition. Right click on the Hello World folder and select Add Resource. And you will see the process here and then select Process Definition. All right, we now have a new process definition. Rename the process definition to Hello World. Click Apply. And I recommend that you constantly save whenever you make modifications in your project. So click Save. We now have a process definition called Hello World. Double click on it. As you can see, you have two activities here. The first one is the start activity, and the second one is the end activity. These two activities come by default whenever you create a new process definition. I'm going to highlight both of them and drag them to the edge of the pane. That is a habit of mine. I just like to do that. I think the code looks neater when you do that. So I highlighted them and moved them towards the edge. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to right click on a white space here in the, inside this process definition so that I can add a new activity. Follow along with me and right click and, and select add resource. In the file palette you will see an activity called the write file. Select that. And that puts a write file activity into your process definition. The activity is simply a group of code that performs a certain task. In this case, the activity performs a writing into a file. It's called a write file activity. So all you have to do is configure this activity. There's no need for you to write code unless you want to be, you want to add a little bit more complexity. You can if you want to, but for the Hello World program, unlike other computer programming languages, in Tipco Designer, there's no need to write code to accomplish this. It's really neat. That's what I like about this program. What we'll do is configure this activity now. So I'm going to take a look at this panel here. You'll see the configuration tab. It says write file as the name. I'm just going to leave that as is. In the input tab, I'm going to specify the name of the file which I would like this to go to. So I'm going to put c colon backslash hello world.txt. 
we're going to put the low world text file into the C drive. And in the text content, we're going to put hello world. Very simple. I typed in the input and I pressed enter. You with me? Click apply and then save. Finally, what we're going to do is we're going to connect each activity using transition lines. So follow along with me and click on the button on the top here called create transition. Click there. You'll notice that the cursor is now a cross. All you have to do is drag from activity to activity in order to put them together with transitions. So I'm going to drag from the start activity to the right file activity, from the right file activity into the end activity, and they're all connected now. I'm going to go back to the regular cursor by clicking that button. And then what I'm going to do here, I'm just going to make my process a little bit neater. You'll see, you see here, it's a little bit crooked and I don't like it. So it's good to be neat in your programming. So all you have to do is highlight all three of them and select this button on the top here. Do you see this button? It says align top sides. If you click it while everybody is highlighted, now they look all aligned and it, it's, it looks much better than when it's crooked. So please do that when you program in TIBCO. I'm going to save this process. And before I run it, before I execute it, I'm just going to validate one last time that everything is ready to be ran. So click on this button on the top here called Validate Resource. Click it. It says Resource was successfully validated. Click OK. Very good. So now we're ready to execute this process. To execute this process, all you have to do is go to the tester tab on the left-hand side of the program. You'll notice a green button here that says Start Testing Viewed Process or F9. So that means you can click on the F9 button to activate the BusinessWorks engine to run this program, this process definition. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to click on this button here, click it. Now you see a dialog box asking you which process you'd like to run. In this case, we only have one process to run. So you can either click this button or this button. Let me explain the difference. If you click the load and start current button, the one that I have the mouse over, it will execute the process that you're presently looking into. So we're looking at the Hello World process now. It'll execute that if you click this button. If you click the Load Selected button, it'll execute the process or the processes that are checked in the left-hand side. Are you with me? So in this case, we only have one process. So we're only just, we can select either one. So I'm going to select Load and Start Current. It was really fast. It went from start to write file to end. And it's all green. Everything went well. So let us take a look at the output file that should contain Hello World. So I'm going to go over to my C drive. My computer. Local disk C. I'm going to see if I have a Hello World. Yes, I do. I have a Hello World file. Hello World text file. And it contains the Hello World text. So, mission accomplished in this Hello World process definition creation. So, that's all you had to do. As you can see, it's really nice. You didn't have to write any code. You didn't have to figure out what class in Java to use in order to write file, write text into a file. All you had to do was know which activity to use and properly configure that activity. And as you can see, it was really, really quick to do. That's what I love about TIBCO, about TIBCO Designer and all other aspects of TIBCO development. It's my, I feel like my productivity level is much higher by using this tool because I can focus on the design and the architecture of my application instead of focusing on the nitty little details of each functionality of the application. So it helps me think more like an architect instead of focusing in on the, the small details of a program. So it definitely increases my productivity. 
So that's all for today. Stay tuned for more tutorials to come. My inten intention here is to put together these little tutorials and I hope that this will continue to be useful to you. Thank you for listening. Have a good day.